I'm reading this book on anatomy, and it says that you have to create the human figure like this with certain proportions this way, and that, you know what? All of this doesn't matter at all in cartooning. Hi, I'm Bruce Blitz, and welcome to Cartooning with Blitz. And in cartooning, we break the rules, and that's what we'll be doing today, breaking a few rules and draw some cartoon types. All right, let's get started, and we'll draw our first type, and he's going to be an umpire. And as I said, we're going to draw a stout figure. And he has a very distinctive way of dressing. You'll see that in a moment. First, we'll start with his head, and he's going to be standing facing the left. And this will be his body and his feet. And this arm comes out this way, and it'll be on his hip. That'll be his hand. And up here will be his other arm and hand. And you know what? That's all I'm going to do. Because after we have it laid out like that, we're ready to go in with our marker. All right, so let's start with his face. Now, as I said, he's got a distinctive way of dressing for his occupation. He's wearing a mask on his face, like the catcher and the umpire, so he doesn't get hit with the ball. And here's his ear and some hair and some straps to where it goes back, holding onto his head, and his cap, which is backwards. You don't see a lot of this fellow's face here. All right, now we're going to draw his arm. So we go over that line that we started with, and we thicken it up. Nothing to it. And they wear jackets. Here's his hand. Like little black jackets and pants, like little suits. And here's the suit jacket coming back. And for the front. Now watch this. He wears padding, like the catcher as well. So we do that, and we do it again over here. Then we connect them and give it some thickness and have it going back just like the mask. And that's how it stays on. And here's his pants. And we darken this in. And his other leg is over here. And here's his feet. Remember, add that heel back here so the character always looks like he's in balance. And here's his other foot peeking out, a little shadowing. And he's working out pretty well. Now, that is his other arm. Now, let's thicken that one up as well. And you have to start with stick figures, folks. I, I tell you, it really does help you. And now for his other hand. Now, we have that circle. And what we're going to do is have his thumb tucked in like this. And his fingers are up like that. And he's doing one of three things. He's either giving us the peace sign. I don't think it's that one. Or he could be ordering... Two hot dogs, I don't think it's that one either. Although we're getting a little bit closer, aren't we? Because he is at a ball game. Or he's saying, that's right, strike two. And let's put him in a setting of the ball field. And look how easy this is to do. We put the horizon line in. Now watch this. In perspective, we put the grandstands behind him. See that? And with some detail onto that, it looks like he's actually in a stadium. Here's some banners. See that one there is that size, and this one here in the foreground gets a little bit larger. And for the people in the stands, you can use circles and dots, and the closer they are, the bigger the circles, and further in the distance, they get a little bit smaller too. There you have it. And you know what we'll do? We'll erase the pencil lines now. I'm using my kneaded rubber eraser, and then we'll put some color into it. The ink lines stay, the pencil lines go, and I like the kneaded eraser because it doesn't leave a lot of messy crumbs, and you don't want to keep smearing or drawing like that if you have other kinds of erasers, although they all work pretty well. All right, let's put some color into this guy. Now, as I said, he's wearing a black suit, so we'll do that. Now, you know, a lot of people wonder where cartoonists get their ideas, and you know what? It doesn't come by sitting around the house in your robe. I'll tell you that right now. Now, I've got a beautiful studio here, and I like it. But you got to get out once in a while. Like going to a ball game, and get all these great ideas, bring a sketch pad with you. How about a little bit of orange here for his padding? And another great way to practice, I found, is to get a couple cartooning buddies together. And all of you sit around and all try to do the same assignment. Yeah, like you all draw a character like this and uh, then compare notes and see what kind of sketches and how you can help each other. Now, I didn't draw his features inside. I'm going to let the mask kind of cover up everything. All right. 
And you know what I'm going to do? Oh, a little bit of black for his hat and a little bit of blue for the background. Where's that blue? Here it is. And watch this. This drawing looks nice. In the stands, maybe a little bit of green because he is in a ball field. 